Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy tuna cauliflower casserole using just these five ingredients. And as always, I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which has the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions so you can easily make this at home. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know if you give this recipe a try and what you think of it. So in my last video I kind of asked what you want to see from here and I also mentioned that I might just film some videos with pantry goodies and things that are hopefully easy-ish to come by and also be able to mix and match and adapt them depending on what is available where you are in these crazy times. So I put together this easy casserole that you can definitely adapt depending on what you've got. Starting with cauliflower I have a whole head of cauliflower over here you can rarely use any vegetables you like you can use fresh cauliflower frozen there's loads of frozen veggies that in my stores at least are still available so you could get frozen cauliflower frozen broccoli fresh whatever you like I'm just using this big cauliflower because it is what I found at the store and I thought it would be a good way to enjoy it and make the most of it I have got cream fresh Irish cream you can just use any cream you like and sour cream. I like the mix of 50-50 sour cream and cream, but again, it depends what you have available. If, you, if you've only got mayo or you've got cream cheese, any type of sour cream, creme fraiche, any type of cream, even a bit of milk, whatever creamy, milky, sour ingredients you have, you can mix and match in this casserole. I have got cheese. This is a local Wexford creamy cheese, a cheddar. You could use already grated cheese or really any cheese you're able to get hold of. Parmesan, you can add in as many cheese or as little as you like. It is up to you. And tuna. <laughs> in my store, they still have some tuna, but they are running low in supply. But I do have quite a few in my cupboard as well. So definitely tuna is one of those ingredients where they use tuna, sardines, any other tuna, any other salmon, any other fish, fish seafood you like, canned, you can use. Or you can just skip it and make it veggie and have a mix of vegetables. It's just kind of a nice, warming, comforting meal. So I'm going to get on and put it all together. So I've chopped up cauliflower, popped it into a baking dish. I've popped it into bite-sized pieces, so it'd just be really easy to cook really quickly. And I used probably half of the cauliflower. The rest, while I had everything out, I chopped it all up and I pop popped it into a bowl so I can use it in other recipes later on today, tomorrow, but at least it's all prepped and ready to go in other recipes. This is just the dish that I have. I'm making this for myself and my husband, so half a cauliflower between the two of us is more than enough and then we've got more cauliflower I probably will just cook the rest of the cauliflower for breakfast tomorrow I'll probably just fry it up in coconut oil make some fried eggs and that's gonna be our breakfast start our day with veggies but anyway I just liked you to know how I use everything so now I am going to add in tuna and I've also preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 Fahrenheit so I've drained my tin of tuna I'm just gonna add it in and then I'll just kind of give it a very rough mix through I'm still gonna mix through all of the creams but just to kind of get it distributed between all of the cauliflower and now I'll add in all the creamy ingredients starting with a third of a cup of cream We've got a third of a cup of sour cream and we just kind of as you can see just keep refilling the third of a cup at a time and a third of a cup of cheese grated cheese and we'll just give that all a really good mix through to distribute all the cheese amongst it and all the creamy ingredients so it's just beautiful Okay, <laughs> it looks so good. And then finally we're going to top it with a final third of a cup of cheese. And again, you can use any cheese you like. You can add in some parmesan, add in whatever cheesy goodness you want for a lovely topping. You can even add a bit of breadcrumbs if you want. If you're happy having bread in your diet, you can add in breadcrumbs. And of course, this is just a spin on the classic tuna and pasta dish. You can add in some cooked pasta as well to make it even more hearty comfort meal. So now we'll just add on the final third of a cup or more of grated cheese. 
and there you go and now it goes into the preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes until the cauliflower is all cooked through and we've got a lovely cheesy topping which I will show you next and my tuna cauliflower casserole is out of the oven and it's lovely and crisp smells incredible I love the cheesy topping like that and a nice cheesy sauce and if you pop a fork in you can see the cauliflower is cooked I'm getting there the cauliflower is cooked and you get a mouthful of tuna and cheesy goodness and it's just amazing but that is the video for today thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which will have the full recipe step-by-step -step instructions so you can make this lovely casserole at home so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye